Hey gang, and welcome to another edition of the Sermon Net. I'm Ian Allen, and once again, it's a pleasure to join in exploring God's Word with you today. What I've got in mind for today is looking at how we fall down and how God always picks us back up. We're all familiar with how there's a standard of measurement, a set of rules, a set of expectations that we're called to measure up to. Whether it's in our own families, among our own circle of friends, at our workplace, in the general public, all around the world, we have a, we have a standard that we're called to measure up to. And we do try and measure up to whatever standards they may be. But a lot of times, I mean, sometimes we do pretty good. But most of the time, this is what happens. Smack. We fall flat on our face because of one simple fact. We're not perfect. And any person living today who claims they are is... I'd like to know their secret because personally, I know I'm not. I am far from perfect. And most many of us can say the same thing about ourselves. But what we need to also realize many times when we think about how we fall down... Sometimes we want to stay when we're where we're fallen and just wallow in it. The same thing can be said from this illustration. Think about when you were a kid. You were running, playing, enjoying life. Then you'd trip, fall, something would happen. You'd end up on your back, on your stomach. You'd end up crying. And you'd, just, you know, you'd hurt yourself. You'd end up just crying and sitting there for a minute. But then your mom or dad would come over, help you up, and dust you off. And then told you it was going to be alright. Hugged you or comforted you in the way that best comforted you. God does the same thing with us. I mean, he has his own set of standards, which we know we can't measure up to. Many of us do already. If you're familiar with anything with the Bible, you know he's called holy which means he's set apart. He's up here. We're down here. And if you get what I mean, we're just attempting to be perfect, but we fail over time because he's the only one who is. But check out this scripture with me uh, from uh, Romans 3, chapters 20, or verses excuse me, verses 21 to 26. And if you need to pause the video to uh, find the scripture, I please do. And then we can join in reading it together. And check this out, what God does when we fall down. But now a righteousness from God, apart from the law, has been made to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe there is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented Him as a sacrifice of atonement. Through faith in His blood, He did, not, he did this to demonstrate His justice because in His forbearance He had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He did it to demonstrate his justice at the present time, so as to be just in the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. He picks us up when we fall down, and he dusts us off of our sin. He sets us right. And you know what? He's perfect. Jesus Christ is perfect. God knew we weren't going to be able to measure up. I mean, we can strive. It's important to strive to live to, up to God's standards. But that's why we're in a relationship with Him and why He calls us to it. Because without Him, we can never even come close. We'll just end up wallowing in our pitfalls all our lives. And I know none of us want that. So here's my call for you today. Take a minute and think of the times that you may or may not, you I mean, you've fallen down, but also take it for the opportunity that God will always be there to pick you back up. 
you truly want him to, he will. He won't lead you just there for your own devices. He's got you. And he will take care of you. As a parent does with the child, he will pick you back up, comfort you, wrap his arms around and say it's all right, and get you back on the right path. And you will be on your feet again and off the ground. Well, gang, it's been a pleasure getting to uh, join you and hang out with you guys for a little bit. Um, know that I love you, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care, God bless, and peace out, guys. Bye.